Oh, what's wrong? You don't remember who reamed Rosie Rabbit? Well, perhaps this voice will help you out. Oh my god, what's educational about mice stomping cats or, or hunters chasing rabbits? Ah, uh, yes. As you can see, the movie was exactly like Who Framed Roger Rabbit. The movie was made back when all you needed was a porno spoof title, and that's it. The movie itself had no spoof factor in it whatsoever, and it wasn't even a good mystery. The first movie already answered who reamed Rosie Rabbit. It was the only other guy in the scene. You know, the guy with this voice. Jeez, Rosie. Why did I have to come all the way over here just to watch friggin' cartoons all night? Yeah, page 62 of here on channel 83, you've got the Scholastic Channel, the basics of human relationships. And look over here, on page 62, you got on channel 82, the Frisky Channel, look. <laughs> Eddie doesn't sound like a movie character, he sounds like a character who should be popping up in one of my reviews. Snob! <laughs> <sighs> what? Why are you doing so many religious episodes, Snob? I don't like the religious episodes. I want to see more pornos. <laughs> Only three of the 20 plus episodes this year have been on religious movies. What the hell are you talking about? But Snob, I hate religious episodes, which means all your episodes are religious episodes. I want to see people fuck, Snob. <laughs> oh, for the love of Christ. Someone give him a laptop so he can look up internet porn. What's this? I don't know what the internet is. I sure hope this has fucking... Uh... Welcome back to an all-new Will It Fit. Today we're going to try fitting a whole cucumber. We'll see how long it takes to brine. By the way, will it fit is a trick question. It always fits. Anyway, enough stalling because this movie gives me zero to work with. On with Who Reamed Rosie Rabbit Part 2. The plot of the first one is that a woman wants to watch cartoons, and her annoying boyfriend, Eddie, wants to watch porn. So they mostly watch porn. Now that you know what the first one was about, you've also seen the second movie. It's the exact same thing. But maybe this one will give us that pulsating burst of energy the first one had. Yeah, that's Windy City levels of excitement. Only this movie severely lacks the Saul menacing, because fuck Saul! Good to know the movie doesn't trust its audience to know what numbers are, so they spell out the word two, making it the Pet Cemetery 2 of porno movies. But they did get the entire country of China to star in it, so that's something. The film is directed by and starring the late porn actress Aja. Wait, that's not the same director as the first movie, making Who Reamed Rosie Rabbit Part 2 nothing but fan fiction. Witness how different this second film is. You made me the happiest man in this world. Hmm? Yeah, I'm happy too. Okay, well, this guy's not as annoying as Eddie from the first one, but this movie comes across as, uh... I don't know, slightly more molestery. This is supposed to be the same Rosie Rabbit from the first film. You can tell by the ears and her TV habits. Oh, baby, I was just about to eat your pussy. And you wonder what Scooby-Doo? Please watch Scooby-Doo! Yep, same as the first film. She wants to watch cartoons, he wants to watch porn, so they watch porn. You, what are you doing here? I was looking for the gas meter. Ain't, ain't it here? No. Get out. Oops, I dropped my towel. Wow, these cuts sure are premature ejaculating. This couple is a match made in heaven. They both go around with bunny ears for no reason. And then he does housework and leaves. But let's wait for the reviews. So, so what do you think of that? It's boring. 
right? There's not a single person dressed as Dickachu. Will anything get her in the mood? Hey, you know what would get me in the mood? Scooby-Doo would get me in the mood. Okay, well now you're the one with the problems. Soon she recognizes herself in the porno. Oh, so everyone with bunny ears looks the same? Racist. Oh wait, that actually is the same actress. And then they wash their hair in the bathtub and part ways. It really sucks this was Powers Booth's last movie. Best call in a doctor for Rosie. Well, look at her. This is the third Saturday in a row. And all she does is sits there and watches them damn cartoons. I don't know what to do, doctor. You could date someone who isn't 12. Turns out Rosie is bored of sex, and the only thing these two can do is try to out John Derrick each other. Now the cure for this, uh, though it may be dangerous, is to subject her to severe pornological re-education right. and personal visual stimuli. Well, what does that mean? It means I want her to watch me fuck. Well, so much for this being a PG-13. This movie has more rabbit ears than the TV I have my Atari hooked up to. I'm not sure this is a real doctor. He just wants a place to fuck where his wife won't find him. Whoa, she takes the ears off. You mean she's not a real rabbit? I don't think this movie is interested in providing a good mystery at all. Then the doctor leaves and they watch more TV. God, how many times can they rerun this same movie? Maybe Who Framed Roger Rabbit is on TV. I sure hope so, because at least then you'd know what to spoof. Uh, it could be worse. They could be watching someone stuff food up their ass. Let's just get that meatloaf stuffed in there. Remember the motto of the show, folks. If it tears, it still fits. <sighs> anyway... So, they watch more fucking. The twists and turns of this movie are immense. Look at how enthralled the leads are. Did he just walk out of his own movie? What's next? Is Rosie just gonna sit there and eat soup? Hey, what are you doing? Hercules Burt Reynolds has spoken. He then gets her in the mood by quoting that famous line from Scooby-Doo. Yabby dabby doo! Yabby dabby motherfucking doo! Mm, close. I never thought I'd see a porno where it's Hanna-Barbera getting fucked. And then we find out who reamed Rosie Rabbit Part 2. Spoiler, it's not Judge Doom, and it's not this creepy guy in the mustache, because no one gets reamed in this film. I guess this is the end of Rosie Rabbit 2. Here I come to save the day! Oh. Ah. Ah. Also not Scooby-Doo! This movie is so quick to end, they forgot to put the part two in the title. Even the movie knows it's the exact same movie. And that the editing was a bummer. The average script length of a Cinema Snob episode is about eight paragraphs. This episode? Three. I said all I needed to say about who reamed Rosie Rabbit part two in three paragraphs. Help me out here, Eddie. Clearly I need some more filler. I'm here in Tornado County, USA for the most dangerous episode of Will It Fit yet? <laughs> I don't get it. Is he trying to stuff a tornado in his ass? I don't understand today's porn. <laughs> I couldn't do that. I'm no actor. <laughs> Want to see more Cinema Snob episodes? Do you like movie reviews from people in cars? How about animated cat detectives? 
Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash stonedgremlinproductions. Follow us on Twitter at the Cinema Snob, or check out our homepage at thecinemasnob.com. And you guessed correctly, I am a little drunk. <laughs>